Hi everyone, so it's Sunday. It's my only day off a week. Well, it's usually Sundays. I'm working six days and it's getting into winter. So I'm gonna get even busier at work and I just wanna eat healthier this week at winter um, just so I don't have to miss work. And I have a lot planned. Um, I have all the Christmas cookies. Um, it, it's the 1st of October that we're at. Uh, is it the 1st, Jesse? Yeah, it's the 1st. And so that's not too far away. So lots of prep, but Jesse and I are both working during the day and we struggle with bringing things to work. Everybody seems to bring stuff and you just kind of sit there a lot of times. So um, I want to prep some things for the week. So I stopped at the grocery store. This is what $100 in Canada buys you. There was two of these. Uh, these are two for $10. Uh, but this cost the other $80. Um, I bought some um, turnovers. We obviously didn't make two of it, didn't make it home. I bought some Quaker Harvest Crunch, Canadian Maple. I went to buy uh, for these um, these cookies we were, make, were making. I went to buy a red velvet cake mix, uh, but they only have these, and it comes with its own frosting inside, which is uh, I wanted them separately, but this is all they had. And it was on sale for cheaper than I could buy them separately, so cheap wins. I bought some Fair Life. This is the full fat one. I am making some yogurt today, homemade yogurt. Why? Because this is $5.79, and with one of these, a uh, little bit of vanilla, I can make a huge thing of yogurt. Um, this was uh, $5.00. This is $5.79. It's much cheaper this way. So I'll make my own yogurt. <clears throat> These things here were uh, just for the uh, things we're making today. I needed two different size chocolate balls, so I got these two. The uh, black, oh, here when they open up. The, I bought some blackberries. Some strawberries. These didn't look too bad. Hopefully they're not too bad. Uh, English cucumber. Some sour cream. Butter. Uh, in case people complain about baking in the U.S. and how expensive things are. In Canada, if you buy uh, a solid block of butter, it's far cheaper than... Um, getting the sticks of butter but for baking I, I really do prefer the sti the sticks so our sticks are eight dollars and ninety nine cents folks yeah crazy uh some Hellman's mayonnaise I like the half fat some will be candy milk and three sort of it they were the most great bananas I could find because I'm hoping to make muffins. It's 115. I'm not going to accomplish half of what I want to, but follow along and see what I get done. Okay, first off, I rounded up uh, the veggies I have. I'm going to cut them up for veggies and dip. I don't have a huge selection, but if we buy too much at a time, it just goes bad. So you saw I bought the cucumber, um, and I have these three peppers that I got at the farmer's market yesterday, some carrots from the fridge, and some leftover broccoli. We're going to cut the all up, and I'll show you how I make my dinner. Uh, Jesse and I prefer if I just uh, take the skin off of the, oh gee, that went right on the floor. Um, you know what, I'm just doing this one at a time. Uh, we prefer it without the skin, but usually if I'm making up a, uh, a 
a veggie platter I keep it on just because it looks nicer. But I just find it a little chewy. I'm just going to put these all in a container so we can just pull it out and take what we want out of it for lunch or snack or whatever. Um, true story. So for many years I loved green peppers, but I would never try red peppers and I would never try yellow peppers because I thought they were hot or they tasted weird or something. I It wasn't until I uh, became a farmer's market manager and I actually tried growing some that I realized that this is a green pepper. If you keep it on the vine, it will turn color and eventually turn this color. So it, you know, this might is a longer pepper, so it may be a different variety, but they taste the same. It's not this huge uh, difference in color. So when you're cooking, by all means, use different colors just to give it that, you know, that vibrance in your food. Jesse and I absolutely love veggies and dip, especially uh, with this dill dip I make. I've been making this dill dip, well, before I had kids, and so well over 40 years. And uh, I don't know, are you one of those people? that don't care all that much for cooked vegetables, but you love the fresh stuff. I love salads, um, love veggies and dip, but a lot of vegetables I struggle with cooked, is like carrots, oh, I, I can't. Now, I cut them up and put them in soups, and that's fine, but for like, roasted carrots or some sort of carrot side dish you, you're not going to find it in my house just I, I can't I don't even like the smell of it I can't even smell so here we go with this recipe I'm doubling it because uh, it makes one cup so I want two cups so we are going to go with one and a third cups of the mayo two-thirds cup of the sour cream. We're going to do a teaspoon of the accent, two teaspoons of parsley, two teaspoons of dill weed, two teaspoons of um, dried onion, two teaspoons of Lowry seasoning salt, four drops of Tabasco sauce, and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. No, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. I've pronounced it wrong all my life and I'm trying to change. So I uh, don't go at me for it. We aren't going to show absolutely everything today. It'll take too much time. You're not going to be interested in that um, long of a video. But I did want to show you that when I say two teaspoons, um, it's, it's like this. It's not... Um, I'm, uh, they're more of a, more of a heaping teaspoon. It'll make, it does, it'll make a little bit of a difference if you just do the standard size. So I'm just going to mix this up really well. There's, uh, there's a couple people that, you know, they, there's some people that just don't like anything white, like white sauces, uh, that have tried this reluctantly and ended up loving it. So this is good for about four days. Uh, we tend to, like, 
scoop it on our vegetables rather than dipping because it's really good. So that's all set from the, fri the fridge. What I usually do though um, is just grab a spatula and just make sure everything in the corners and there's not anything along the sides. And there we go. This is, uh, if, if you're going to serve this uh, that day, just give it a couple of hours to sit in the fridge and let the flavors mingle. Uh, but I usually like making it the day before. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to get half what I wanted to get done today. It is like quarter to three. And this is all I've done. I had to run back to the grocery store because I couldn't find my seasoning so see uh, Lowry's we looked everywhere but I know I have a couple so that took time but anything is better than nothing next up I have a family size package of stewing beef that I am thought and I need to use up so I'm gonna make this beef rice, rice pilaf that I do um, and in case you're wondering about the prices where I live, this was $16.05. Thought I'd give you a peek. Doesn't this look awesome? Uh, I just have, I'm going to put some uh, beef broth in it and some tomato uh, sauce and uh, get this cooking. But it is so good. So my rice, rice pilaf is done. Uh, the recipe's on my channel, beef rice, rice pilaf, it's under, the, we'll link it. Um, managed to get five servings out of that. Uh, I'm not one to do prep for the week, and this is all we're having for the entire week. I need something different, but hey, it's a start uh, to have five servings prepped. But I accomplished this much of my long list. But I'm going to continue on with some of the things I'm going to do. Um, try and do that tomorrow, even though I get home from work late. Uh, but we've still got to go out. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.